Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits with me, Ultra Gamer J. In our last episode, we did some um, excavations in, a, in some ruins, and I and it was too late for me to mention that there were some callbacks to previous installments in this franchise, and that I was am, of course, an idiot for not knowing that the first three games were exported outside of Japan in the Ark of the Lad collection. We we went through a filler fight. You didn't need to see it. It, but, and with it, gained, we gained some pretty, we gained something good. Gons learned Speed Storm which is apparently a stronger version of his rolling axe attack. Let's add that to the rep repertoire. And now that we've tackled the Perens ruins, now let's hit the Viora of Mine and go spelunking for spirit stones. This is odd. We're... We're not... Oh, I guess we get on this elevator then. I... Huh, I thought we'd have to throw down right as soon as we entered the mine, but I guess we had to go down the lift first. Stun smog. So I'm guessing these things inflict paralysis. I want to keep our distance just to be safe. Unless we're Karg or Gons because fighting up close and personal is all they know how to do. Because they do not have, have melee weapons that turn into guns. Take this. You, huh? Ha! Too slow. Take this. Forget it. Hmm. Well, they dropped money. All right. Go. That one also dropped money. But we're looking for spirit stones. Spirit stones. 
Wonder how many it dropped. I'm coming for you. Let's go. Don't throw your life away. All right, who's first? Let's see. Well, I'm guessing that stunned Smog because it's the only one left. Oh, and it just gave us the usual amount of spirit stones. Well, and by it, I mean the one, the, the stun Smog we just killed. Is this edible? I, I mean, I, I hope I'm not jinxing it, but for monsters that call themselves stun smogs, they're not doing a whole lot of stunning. By which I mean, I was expecting them to inflict the paralysis ailment whenever they got the chance. Kind of like how Slothians always try to inflict the sloth status on the party. Way to dodge the question, Gons. Let's see. Can we use... Can we use this? Can we interact with this? I don't think we can. Can we go down this way? We cannot. Ooh, we can walk up here, though. Is there anything here? There is not. Ooh, what about here? Sure, why not? It's not like it might end up killing us by accident. Holy shit. I didn't mean to talk over that, well, kind of sort of cutscene, but wow, 242 spirit stones just for setting off a, some dynamite, or whatever this world's equivalent of dynamite is. Just, wow. But yeah, Gons dodged the question about what really is the difference between humans and Deimos. Well, I mean... If we want to get technical, I mean... One of them can do magic, and humans really can't. I mean, Karg's the exception to the rule, but... Yeah, aside from him, humans can't use magic. 
I mean, they can use special skills, but those are a horse of a different color. That's the main thing that separates them, besides various physiological builds. I mean, humans don't have wings or tails. So we kind of sort of have claws, if you consider nails to be claws. But I mean, unlike the Coelacant, we don't engage in cannibalism frequent as frequently. Let's see. That's right. <sighs> Don't get excited about that. Die! I mean, maybe you could argue that humans and Deimos may or may not be different in the ways that matter. I mean, I mean. I guess you could. I guess the only real way, way I can respond to what Maru said would be, Now Maru, you know that's a loaded question. And it shows that Maru is a lot more, well open-minded than he appears, or despite his age. This will be over soon. He's a good kid. He never- he walks around with no- he always walks around with no shirt on, but he's a good kid. Most certainly does. Touch me and you'll be sorry. Oh, wow. Out of the way. Let's deliver the goods to the Sulphus main plant and proceed Operation Death from Above. That's actually that's the best title I could come up with on such short notice. Let's see. Let's raise. Let's. Add raise spirits. That's raise the morale. Sure, having the raise for resurrection spell would be good, but I mean, vegetables before dessert makes things more challenging. Ah, oh, God. Almost 500 spirit stones. Whew. Feel so good about that. No, I don't need to recharge. There, 
they are. Um, they should have said, I guess they should have said bean can nuns, as in plural, because, well, there are two on the big owl. Not one. Let's learn about this. It's important.
Well, that was very informative. Well, then what are you here for? Certainly not repairing televisions or radios or refrigerators or telephones. I'll say that much. And you think two teenagers, one child, and one mercenary with attitude are considered qualified. Eh, better us than, than those resistance members that decided to charge Arj into the mountain stronghold head first. What about his cousin, Mick? And the word thinking has been cut off in your text box. It'll be even more back on its feet once we get rid of the Nazi- I mean, Dillsweld army. And now that we have the- Airship weaponized. Not something new opened up. Wait. Oh, I guess we already. I guess we already have one. Still, the option is available to us. That's nice. And we can't find it anywhere in our arsenal. That's. That's nice. That's. Let's see if we can find it anywhere else. Oops. 
was. No. That's oh, just not there. That's a shame. Well, I think I'll end the video here. This has been Ultra Gamer J signing off, hoping to see you all in the next video, and please remember to like and subscribe for more content.